hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can upload attachments from any power apps directly into sharepoint without any help of ms flow or power automate so for that we are going to leverage ms graphs where we would be actually querying our document library will be creating one connector and using that connector we'll be uploading the attachments directly into sharepoint so let's start with it so i have opened ms graph explorer and where we are going to go for search for SharePoint and in SharePoint I'll just directly go to SharePoint sites and we'll see we'll get SharePoint site based on this relative part so for this I am going to write the host name so host name is nothing but this initial part of your any SharePoint site for my case is xmd.sharepoint.com so I'll just copy this and server relative path that is your site's name so you have to append sites and your site name so my site name is just this spfx and i'll just append it and run the query so the objective is to get the id of the site because we are going to construct a url like this so if you see over here we have we have ms graph microsoft.com and then sites and then this is the id of the site and drive so this will give us the drive of my this respective sharepoint site and from that drives we will be extracting the id of this specific document library and then use that to query or uh, to upload the attachments to so as we got result from our this query i'll just copy the site which is nothing but the second part of my this id so yeah, just copy this, paste it into notepad, keep it for your reference. We are going to use it later on. So we just got the ID of our site. In the next step, we'll be getting, we want to get the ID of our document library. So for that, we are going to use a different query. That is, we'll just remove it and we'll append the ID of the site, site ID, which we copied into notepad. I'll just copy this ID and paste it and afterwards we'll just say drive so drives will give us all the drives into this sharepoint site and we'll just do a control f to find our this uh, document library so this is our document library where we want to upload our attachments so i'll create i'll just copy this id of my this document library because we are going to need this while doing a connector into power apps so I'm just copying it and pasting it again. So I have this document library ID. I have this site ID. So now we'll just go to our make.powerapps.com studio so that we can create one simple app where which allow us to upload the attachments. And using MS Graph, those attachments should resides or get uploaded to this attachment, uh, this document library. So we'll just create a new quick app from blank I'll just say blank upload files and over here I'll just directly go to the data source I'll add first data source as us our office group connector office research groups so that we can able to make a HTTP request to upload the files so just add it and in the second part because we want to have the upload attachment control over here so just for that add any sharepoint site the data source pick anyone and pick any of the list so we are not bothered about uh, which list we are picking because we are going to delete everything we just want to keep the attachment control and once this data source is added, I'll just go to insert, add a edit form. And over there, I'll just bind that to the SharePoint list, which we created just now, which we added just now. And this list would not solve any purpose to us, but we'll just keep the attachment control. So just remember that added fields, I'll just remove all the fields which are not required and keep the attachment control only out of it removing everything
so we are just left with this attachment control and I'll just make that a bit center line and I will add also one of the button so that we can click that button and up clicking of that button action of uploading should happen so I'll just align this and say as button as upload and now I'll just go to my this tree view so that I can see what is my this attachment controls card value is data card value 4 so that we can use while uploading the writing the formula so on selection of this button so I've selected on select property for it and we are going to write the formula over here so as it can allow uploading multiple attachments so we have to write the for all formula over here I have already written it I can just paste it and do the changes as required for our document library so I'll just paste it first of all and I'll walk you through so this for all so we need to change the data card value so data card value for us is 4 so I'll just say data card value 4 dot attachments will give me all the attachments and in for all using for all function we are iterating through each attachment and this office groups.http request would do the operation for us so I have copied this just remove this URL which is there so that we can actually construct our new URL so I'll just copy this one so that we can start constructing our new URL and we'll just down everything so this first part is the site ID so this is the site ID which we copied as part of first step so we are good after that we have this drives and after drive this is a document library id which we copied so i can remove it this entire one and copy the id which we actually copied in our previous steps so i'll just copy this id of my this document library and we want our document to be uploaded in root without any folders and this record dot name would give me the attachment name which we are doing and slash content would be the content of the attachments so this is the part which we need to copy and replace into our this url so now we are good and we have this updated site id and that document library for this operation so we can just save it minimize our formula area and start doing a test run you can just run it just change your form mode to new so that it can give you attachment control to upload now we have this attachment file i'll just select these two three files and click on upload so my this uh, office 65 connector the http request should be made via ms graph and i should be expecting the files to be uploaded directly into my this attach document library so we got these two for two files which we uploaded via our power app directly inside our document library so this is how without writing any flows or making something additional work for your power app you can simply use office 65 ms graph connector to make a call to this site using the document id and make this operation in a simplest form so i hope uh, you may like this um, idea of like directly uploading the attachments using ms graph rather than having ms flow inside it so if you do then please do drop your comments to like and do subscribe thank you that's it for today's video